Okay, here is the cockpit. We have a uh, brand new made in uh, fall of this past year. Um, enclosure, full enclosure. And um, it's got premium materials made with the lifetime thread that's going to last longer than the umbrella. It's all custom, and as you can see, it's got uh, snap on sun shades for everything. Rolls up with or without the sh shades. And there's Isinglass on three sides. And then the back, we used only the Pfeiffer Tex because most of the time we never even rolled that down when we had Isinglass. And it got uh, kind of m mildewy or something. It was ruined for, f for too long. Okay, so looking around the cockpit, we have size 58 winches. Two of those are main winches for the jib. Here's going around. We also have, um, that is a little uh, hatch that is right over the top of the galley, so if it's really hot you can open that and blow some air in. As you can see the hatch board cover, or the hatch boards themselves could use a little love. We've got the barn door style. You know, this rolls down and it's a nice cover for that for privacy and for shade from the sun. We have our um, lines run back here. Now you do have to go forward to the mast to jump the main to get the mainsail up. We have some covers that were made for our seats, our cockpit cushions. We had those made in Dominica, I think. And so there's three of those. So those will last a while. And as you can see, our cockpit table is uh, made of nice wood, but it needs some love also. Those fold out and then it folds up. This is our cup holder. Again, needs some new varnish. We just never got it done. Okay, here's our nav pod. Now our uh, instruments are not great. They're original from when we bought the boat. Maybe even original from when the boat was made. I don't know. Um, there's an iPad mount. We use the iPad for navigation most of the time. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see. Where did it go? Clear. Find ship. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Puerto Rico. As you can see, there's some, uh, some fuzziness to those instrument panels. And I make no mistake, those are definitely going to be something you want to replace. This one is newer. We replaced it because it stopped working, but it's uh, attached to our wind instrument. Our wind decks is a newer technology, and so they speak to each other, but they read about 20% off, so we kind of have to do the math. Um, most of the time, it hasn't been a problem. We have our VHF. And our lovely compass. And this is a Vesper Marine AIS transponder and receiver. And we don't use it a lot because the places we have been traveling do not have a lot of traffic. We have used it some, and it's been very handy. Uh, crossing the Caribbean, it was good when we reached um, some of the shipping lane areas around Puerto Rico. This is really nifty. Um, the folding wheel. So that folds in so you can get in and out. And then you just twist that. And it's solid. Otherwise you have space 
to get in and out around the wheel when you're not going anywhere. Otherwise, it's a nice wheel. Nice roomy cockpit. Plenty of room for resting, relaxing, watching the world go by, and cockpit parties.